Welcome back to the John Trading Channel. I'm John and in today's video we're going to be going over Bitcoin, Ethereum and many altcoins actual price predictions. Plus I also have some crypto news to go through with you today so make sure you're watching until the end of the video. You can see the Bitcoin has been going up all the way through 2023 and we're currently in an all-time high for this 2023 region right now. For the last few months we've been continuously pushing to the upside shown by this MACD indicator and Ethereum also over this last short-term period period is also making high highs potentially again pushing to the upside so everything's looking extremely bullish so don't go anywhere as I just get into the video. As I always like to do on every single trading day I begin on the weekly time frame for Bitcoin. We can actually see that this weekly bar is about to close in the next 12 hours of trading and you can see that this last week how it's actually traded. The week before was a really strong trend bar to the upside and this last week has actually been a doji bar where we had slightly high action slightly down action and we've actually closed in the middle of the bar so basically for this entire week we've been going sideways but that is a bullish sign because once you get a really strong push to the upside and then we begin going sideways in a sideways channel we have a high probability of then continuing to the upside as this action through here is potentially a lot of people trying to get out of their position but then that also being absorbed by a lot of buyers then coming through into the market so again pretty bullish in this current area. For the last few months, we've had some really strong bullish pushes to the upside, also shown by this positively moving exponential moving average, which is my number one indicator in the market. Once we've actually came back, and had this positive sloping EMA, we've used it as support here. And really recently we've used it as support here. And this was a trade that I actually got into and already on this trade up to close to 19% profit on that trade. I think I'm close to about 16 or 17% profit and still holding as I would only sell if we were to break this low through here. But I do expect this 20 exponential moving average to continue sloping to the upside, we might even come back down, retest it in this area. But again, I am expecting positive move Movement shown by this 20 exponential moving average on the weekly time frame. Since it's pointing up, I'm getting long. And also looking over at Ethereum now on the daily chart. The last few weeks has been extremely bullish for Ethereum, but you can see basically in this last week, as we just saw on the Bitcoin in the Bitcoin chart on the weekly time frame, how we've been in a doji bar, and it's perfectly shown on this bar. We've been slightly up, slightly down. Now back to this slightly up region on Ethereum, we're actually closing more on the high of this week, but again, very, very similar to Bitcoin, how we've been trading in a bit of a price change action. We've had a really strong push on the MACD indicator, and we're also potentially using this as a slope to the upside, this 20 exponential moving average, but on the daily chart, we could have a small retracement back into this area as the EMA catches up, retest the average price and then look for even higher pushes to the upside. So overall, pretty bullish market in crypto. We are expecting this push to happen very, very soon, but the halving hasn't happened yet. And we usually expect the massive price explosion for Bitcoin, crypto, and all these other altcoins to actually happen after the Bitcoin halving. Binance coin on the daily chart, having this downwards exponential moving average. I got into a perfect trade into here during this week and I actually got out on this bar here. We did push a little bit lower, so could have got a higher risk to reward, but I'm just using a high probability strategy and we don't need to really change it much from that. We don't need to even look for further profits. Again, we're coming back into this valley area, but now that I've already taken this trade and we've had a bit of a double bottom in this area, there's much less probability that this is going to hold. Definitely could be a trade. We actually take this short since we've reached average price, but overall it's not one of the high probability plays. You could still find a profitable strategy out of it using the right three to one risk to reward and setting up the trade perfectly. But in my, perf in my particular instance, I like to retest in this area. Unless we uh, actually get a book close below this green bar that could potentially be an area so I'll definitely keep my eyes peeled but right now it's definitely not showing overly signs of bullishness now actually breaking and closing above this 20 exponential moving average basically the last time we closed above it was in this area here so if we actually count how many days we've been below and finally closed it's actually 34 days so definitely a decent enough time and a decent enough swing but again it definitely could have a bit of a push and even sweep lower right now so that's definitely a trade that i'm keeping an eye on now let's move over to dogecoin let's have a look at dogecoin and again as i spoke about in the last video for dogecoin i was speaking about this was the first time we were above the 20 exponential moving average basically until back in this area here which was many many months ago and uh 
And once that happens, we get a break above on this 20 exponential moving average. There's a high probability of continuing to the upside. I was even talking about this area being a perfect retest area. We literally came back into that area, now making a push to the upside, even just off this off this area, up already 13% on Dogecoin. So pretty decent trade, especially if you're risking putting the right risk to reward on every single trade. Overall, Dogecoin, harder to create a trade out of this as I, I like to trade uh, the retest into these value zones. And since we're basically sideways on Dogecoin, really the goal would then be to sell high and be buying low in these areas, potentially in a trading range for the next short period. So again, just need to keep an eye on that. Looking at Litecoin, Litecoin has done some really fantastic work, actually making a much higher high. As I was talking about in the last video in this area, we do have a bit of that trading range price action in this area, but you can see what's actually happened. This initially resistance then broke through as resistance, came back as support, and now hopefully looking for another big push to the upside. Litecoin out of all the coins this week has actually done fantastic work over up over 35%, a, a massive push compared to a lot of these other coins. A lot of these other coins are up maybe three or four percent for the entire week. So really what we wanna see is a hold of these areas. We could potentially come back into this small area in here and just retest, 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 as this would still include a lot of these areas in here. And even this area, this area, this area, so there's a lot more confluence, maybe just a little bit lower than these highs through this area. So overall, a small retest to the downside definitely would not be, um, definitely would not be unexpected. So overall Litecoin doing really good. Looking over at Ethereum Classic, I just made a recent video on Ethereum Classic. And even in that video, I was talking about that we're in this sort of trending channel, um, not quite sideways, slightly trading to the downside. And we were coming over into this area. The reason this would have got hit is a lot of stops are in this area. A lot of people, if they're short in all of this area, this is the last swing high. And a lot of people would be putting their shorts in that. Uh, if they were short, they would be putting uh, their exit in that position. So actually stopping out of their trade. And look what happened. We literally got a retest of the stop levels and a perfect massive push down to the downside. So let's actually have a look if you put your stop there. People are already up 12%, even up to close to 15% on that particular trade. So overall, you can see um, that you need to actually understand where you're putting a stop and why you're putting it there. Potentially, I would have put it closer to this level in here. Actually said, once we get a break of this level, that would have been a perfect stop and basically saving, let's actually calculate that, saving an extra 6 to 7%. So again, when I'm only risking 3% on my portfolio, 6% is a massive percentage of my trade. Even moving over to Solana, Solana not doing some amazing work, definitely a bit of a push to the upside. Overall in this area, we are in a very similar, basically sidewards, uh, slightly down trending channel, basically looking to sell at the top area and buy in the low area since that's what's been happening for the last um, quite a few months. Basically, you just need to be following looking to the left and seeing what's happening. Even looking at AVAX, AVAX finally breaking above this 20 exponential moving average. Last time we did that was back in this area here. So overall not looking massively bullish because overall this trend of the 20 EMA is definitely to the downside. But the first little glimpse of upside movement, potentially a little bit more downside, a little bit more upside, a little bit more downside. And then from that area, we will decide if we want to break to the upside or if we're going to break to the downside. I do expect a little bit more sideways price action I don't expect a massive rocket to the upside, uh, but I also don't expect a massive rocket to the downside now that we have broken above this 20 EMA since this short period. Now, I really want to go over this chart with you for Bitcoin. It's actually an extremely great chart. We can see right here how we're seeing the genesis to the 2011 cycle, so which is this yellow line all through here. So you see, this is the first blow off top for Bitcoin. It hits around $32 about 300 days after genesis. So basically, after its creation, it hit that $32 mark. And we can see in the entire cycle where it actually peaked. We got a very, very early peak in the cycle, then got this long downwards uh, direction. But again, massive, massive profit potential in this market, probably down somewhere to 80% in this area though. So, and then 2011 to 2015 cycle, we can see, which is sort of this pink line, a little bit of orange mixed with pink. So we can actually see this second blow off top, Bitcoin hits $1,200, about 746 days after the prior bottom. So once we get this bottom in pattern in here, it then took that period to actually reach. So over 700 days, 700 close to 750 longer 
longer trough to peak lower R ROI than the prior run. So overall, this made a massive push to the upside as much as this was also a huge push to the upside at this $1,200 range, it was lower R ROI than the prior run. Then we now look at this blue line, which is the 2015 to 2018 cycle all through this area. The third blow off top for Bitcoin hits $20,000, about 1,050 days after the prior bottom. Longer trough to peak, lower ROI than the prior run. So you can see what's actually happening. Lower trough to peak, lower ROI on the prior run. So we're getting that exact same thing happening again. And then we see here the last proposed cycle top. No blow off top. Bitcoin sits in a range from 30 to 60,000 for over a year. Bitcoin hits its $69,000 about 1,050 days prior to the bottom. So we're seeing a very similar thing right here, about 1,050 days after prior bottom, about 1,050 days after prior bottom. Same amount of time from peak, from trough to peak. And we're now seeing this latest 2022 cycle actually happening here in blue. So what this is actually expecting, if we go off what's actually happening here, how we're getting continuously longer trough to peaks, that would actually mean that we're looking for that next Bitcoin peak to actually happen in the 2020, late 2025 to early 2026 area. So we basically have two to potentially three years right now in the next Bitcoin cycle. And we can see from this last bottom, which actually happened in very early 2023, as you can see from this January 2023, we have a long way to go in this next cycle. Now, as much as we won't get the same ROI because we're seeing time in and time out, lower ROI than the prior run, lower ROI than the prior run, lower ROI in the prior run, it was definitely in this last prior run, we definitely might get, again, that lower ROI, but Bitcoin is going to beat out a lot of these other basically assets that you can invest in, compare it to stocks, compare it to bonds, compare it to real estate truly believe that Bitcoin is definitely going to have another bull cycle and is going to at least have a really strong potential. Again, not financial advice though. If you haven't already, leave a like on the video, make sure you're subscribed and you smash the bell notification. Plus leave a comment if you'd like me to go over one specific coin in these videos. I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. I'll see you tomorrow.